Hey guys, so for this video, I'm going to go on a little bit of a rant regarding the current state of aim assist on PC, as well as the last patch that was supposed to nerf it. Now, before I get into it, I have to preface the video by saying this is only about aim assist on PC. Whenever I say the word aim assist, I am not talking about controller players on PS4 with 60 FPS, I'm instead talking about everyone on PC with a controller plugged in with 240 FPS, 240 Hertz, and basically no input delay. Then the other thing I wanted to say is that if you think I'm gonna be here just complaining and whining for the next 10 to 15 minutes, you must not know my channel. My goal is to explain the situation to everyone watching as it's very polarized, most debates I see are very heated, and after going on Reddit or Twitter for about 10 to 15 minutes, you can see that most people don't understand the entire argument. The one and only thing I'm gonna ask you to do is if you're gonna leave a comment, please wait until the end of the video and to hear my entire side of it out. I'm gonna do my best to stay unbiased and take the side of Epic, take the side of keyboard and mouse players and take the side of controller players so if you're here to call me a complainer then just go ahead and leave a like and leave you're literally contributing nothing to the conversation and actively trying to be close-minded for everyone else though who actually wants to have a meaningful dialogue i welcome your opinion and i will be replying to a ton of comments down below so hopefully epic watches this and hears me out i know they watch ciphers and kiwis videos and they made some pretty good changes regarding skill-based matchmaking as well as other minor things like creator patch notes. We all know Epic is listening, we just don't know who or what they're listening to. Thus, I'll put some timestamps up on the screen now, right before we start, for each different topic I cover. And yes, I know I look bald, don't roast me, I just got a haircut. But with that being said, let's get right on into it. Starting off, I'm going to talk about patch 12.61 that dropped yesterday and basically what it did. Straight from Epic regarding PC controller adjustments, they said, More controller adjustments incoming, we're keeping an eye on things and we'll keep you posted on new updates. That's probably the most ambiguous and general they can be regarding a change, but luckily people in the community tested things out and found out what they did. The biggest change was that they finally made controller on PC recoil the same as keyboard and mouse players. I honestly don't know why this was ever a thing. I guess it was a weird way for Epic to try to make controller equal to keyboard and mouse. Finally though, both inputs are equal regarding their recoil. Then the other major one, which you probably saw on Twitter since everyone was freaking out, is that long range aim assist for both linear and exponential did receive a tiny buff. Everyone originally thought that aim assist was extended past 100 meters, where before that if a target was that far away you wouldn't get aim assist. People thought now you did. What actually happened is that Epic just made it a tiny bit stronger from long range. Now you're you're probably thinking to yourself, why the heck was every keyboard and mouse pro on Twitter freaking out and acting like it was the end of the world? Well, to put it simply, this was the second patch in a row Epic said they would tweak, not nerf, they said tweak or adjust aim assist, where instead of being a nerf, it ended up being a buff. The one from two weeks ago, by the way, was that it made everyone, regardless of how many hertz your monitor was, it made everyone have the same aim assist as if you were on 60 hertz. I actually thought this would be a bigger change than it was because every pro on PC does play on 240 hertz so you would think if they're changing it to be the same as console then it would be a big change unfortunately though it was a buff because it made aim assist less sticky from up close aka it made it easier for controller players to hit shotgun shots regardless twitter was going crazy and it seems like many players are reaching their breaking points The problem itself, at least to me and most of the community, is not the idea of aim assist itself, it's the fact that in its current state, it is just way too strong. Nobody in their right mind thinks aim assist should be removed. Anyone who says that has either not played on controller themselves, or they're just being stupid. Of course the controller player needs some sort of assist because they're using their thumbsticks, which is way less accurate than a mouse. The thing is, they do not need an aim assist as strong as the one that Epic is currently giving them. If you're wondering why, just think about what aim assist should do versus what it currently does. In theory, because controller players are using tiny plastic sticks, they need some sort of assist to make them equal with keyboard and mouse players, where there's bad aimers on controller, there's average aimers on controller, and there's really good aimers on controller. In its current state with aim assist on PC, there are no bad aimers on controller. The average middle of the pack controller player on PC with linear aim assist is hands down better than the best aimer on keyboard and mouse. And yes, I know I said I would only try to state facts 
and that sounds like an opinion, but my friend and fellow YouTuber BootyClapKC proved this to be true. What BootyClap did was he set up an aim duel 1v1, which if you don't know what those are, you basically drop down into a tiny arena with an SMG or a shotgun, and you try to kill the other person who has 2,000 health. There's no building, no editing, it's just pure aim, and the first person to do all that damage wins. BootyClap went up against one of the best aimers in the world, VF Croder, and he absolutely destroyed him. This is one of the best aimers in the world who practices his aim daily and holds records on Kovacs, and he lost to BootyClap KC who is playing on controller for the first time. I'm not even kidding, all of the footage on your screen was BootyClap's first time playing on controller. Where you may have noticed the problem lies with exponential and linear aim assist is with controller players close range tracking. The issue way back in the day when everyone originally started complaining was with Legacy and Del2 snapping. I'm sure you all remember the clips of people like Aiden locking onto a target by pressing L2 repeatedly and just doing a ridiculous amount of damage by spamming L2. Well, after the removal of Legacy, which was a few months ago, that's no longer a problem. The new problem with the new aim assist is the aimbot light close to mid-range tracking. Controller players on PC have actually caught on and many of them don't even use their shotguns anymore. I know Epic Whale, who was on keyboard and mouse and then switched to controller this season, he will drop at the agency, kill Midas, and then instead of taking a shotgun, he will only take Midas's drum gun for close range engagement. That's probably not the best example because Midas's drum gun is extremely strong, but there's hundreds if not thousands of more examples of players that do that with green and blue SMGs because they know linear aim assist will do the work for them. All they have to do is wait for someone to make an edit and just W key them with their SMG out. There's no thinking, there's no planning, there's no anything. It's just running straight at someone with an SMG. The other big problem with aim assist and controller players on PC is that it gives them inhuman reaction times. I'm not saying that aim assist is an aimbot. Obviously, these players are doing some of the aiming themselves. However, I think we can all agree the game is doing a ton of aiming for them. For example, in this clip I'll show in the background, we see Owl FN, a pro player on PC with controller, go straight into his opponent's box and spray him to death with an SMG. Why I'm showing it is that no keyboard and mouse player can ever do something like that in their life. If you were in that situation with a mouse, as the stair got built, you would not be able to see your enemy and you would have no idea where to spray. Owl on the other hand, perfectly tracks the target through the build due to his aim assist. I can almost guarantee you that Owl did not react that fast and that his thumbstick was not even pointing up. Nobody, not even Benji Fishy or Mongrel, cracked out on G Fuel can react that fast and can move their crosshair so quickly and so accurately. It's straight up not possible. That's except for controller players on PC who can do that on a daily basis because their aim assist does it for them. So to sum the problems up, aim assist in its current state is way too strong. You should never be able to pick up a new input like you can with a controller on PC and have better aim than everyone on keyboard and mouse. On top of that, your input should not give you inhuman reaction times that are quite literally unattainable for anyone on keyboard and mouse as well. Please remember though, I'm not saying controller players on PC do not need aim assist. I know they do, I just think the current version of it needs to be toned down. Moving on, I'll talk a little about the popular counter arguments that you see on Twitter or Reddit. The first is the classic, you have your whole arm. I agree, your arm is way better for aiming than a thumbstick. You can be much more precise and you have way more control compared to your tiny little thumb. With the current state of aim assist, however, no matter how good you are on keyboard and mouse, you cannot be better than a controller player. Even if you do 20 hours of Kovacs a day, you will still lose an aim duel 1v1 to the average controller player on PC. So in the case of aim assist on PC in Fortnite, your arm is not better than your thumb. Next is another classic, you have scroll wheel and you can edit faster than we can. Again, this is something I acknowledge and I agree is way better than what controller players have. It's just you're strawmanning the argument by adding something in that's irrelevant and that does not actually matter that much in the grand scheme of things. There's no way right now you would say you would rather have scroll wheel reset than aim assist. If you do, you're either lying or you're on console because anyone on keyboard and mouse would die for aim assist on PC. Scroll wheel reset does not aim for you, it does not get you kills, all it does is help you play defensively a little and make for more opportunities to make plays. That's not to say it's useless, it's just not even close to being as useful as something that can aim for you. Plus, if we're gonna go down the route of things that keyboard and mouse players have that controller players don't, then why can't I bring up all the things that controller players have that keyboard and mouse players don't? For example, controller players have a separate editing and build sense, 
defense, they have completely optimal binds and can place all their builds while fully moving, and they have 360 degree movement which is one of the most overpowered things in Fortnite. So yes, I know scroll wheel reset is a benefit that's only afforded to keyboard and mouse players, you just cannot deny that controller players have a ton of benefits of their own, and that they would much rather have aim assist than scroll wheel reset. Next argument is a pretty new one which I've only just recently seen, and it's basically how nobody back during the World Cup complained when keyboard and mouse players were dominating. This is kind of the only argument I don't think is that stupid, mainly because it does have a point. I don't ever want to go back to the World Cup where only keyboard and mouse players were good. I think there were only 12 controller players total that qualified. Trust me when I say, I don't want aim assist getting nerfed to the ground and I don't want controller players not being able to place. That is not good for the competitive scene or for the game's health. At the same time, I don't want keyboard and mouse players quitting or switching to controller because they feel like there's no other way they can do well. Keyboard and mouse should be equal to controller and vice versa. One input should not be better than the other and I think Epic can do that just not by leaving aim assist the way it is. Then the final argument is definitely the stupidest. It's to stop complaining about a kid's game. If you're that close minded and that ignorant that you want to shut down a constructive conversation, I honestly feel bad for you. Fortnite is many people including my livelihood so to say it's just a kid's game is extremely dumb. Epic Games literally put up 100 million dollars for competitions between 2018 and 2019 which is the most any game has ever. I get that many people in the scene including myself can come off as ungrateful because we're quote unquote complaining. The truth is that we just want the game to be more fair and competitive. Second to last topic of discussion is the dilemma Epic is facing. Epic Games is in this really weird spot where they can't nerf aim assist on PC too much, but they also cannot leave it as it is because everyone in the community is outraged. That's why I personally think they were very meticulous about the changes they made recently. If they wanted to, they could have made aim assist on PC like 60% of what it is just based on strength. Instead, they made really minor changes to make both sides happy. Any change too big will just make everyone on controller very unhappy happy, even if it's only aim assist on PC, and that is a giant portion of their player base. Something I feel like a lot of people are forgetting is that Epic wants people on console to move to PC with controller. They want people to buy PCs, that way they're less likely to quit the game and less likely to stop buying V-Bucks. And I know that sounds very devious, but it is extremely smart from a business standpoint. If you have someone who's invested thousands of dollars into equipment for the game, they are not going to quit that easily. This is what's called the sunk cost fallacy, and it's a thing in many video games. People basically don't want to quit because of all the time and money they've spent getting better. If Epic went back to the way the game was during the World Cup where there were only a few good controller players, then people would not be buying PCs because they know they couldn't make it pro. However, Epic being the geniuses they are, made tournaments open to everyone so even the average Joe can log on and compete, and made it so aim assist was so good that even controller players could compete with the best keyboard and mouse players. That's why you're seeing all these recent tournaments like the F FNCS Solo Invitational being dominated by controller players. There are so many people that have made the switch to controller on PC that it would almost be stupid to nerf it. So hopefully you guys get where Epic is coming from. I know I do and I cannot blame them for their decisions recently. I just hope they hear me out on the next part about possible solutions. As a keyboard and mouse player myself, it's kind of hard to give a really specific solution to Epic regarding what they should do for aim assist on PC. The way I want to frame it though is that they do not need aim assist to be that strong for controller players to be as good as keyboard and mouse players. There's a lot of things they can do to even the two inputs out that do not involve making aim assist so strong. One thing Aiden recommends is to give controller players a reset on release option. This would be very similar to confirm edit on release, but instead of confirming the edit, it would reset the edit very similar to scroll wheel reset. Then another thing he recommended is to give them more binds to help make inventory management easier. I know this is one of the biggest problems that controller players face because while keyboard and mouse players can just hit a key to bring out their weapon, controller players have to scroll through them. As far as an actual aim assist nerf goes, I know what most controller players like CRR and Wolfies think is that Epic should take away the linear and exponential aim assist but leave those in the game for their editing and mechanics. That would effectively nerf the biggest problem with 
with aim assist, which is close to mid-range tracking, as well as make it fair for them long range and in most situations. So again, because I'm not a controller player, I really can't go too in depth into what I think a good solution would be. I don't know why Epic just doesn't ask a bunch of top tier controller players what they think. That would be way easier and faster than making a bunch of minor changes like they're doing now. Still, my point stands that aim assist does not need to be as strong as it currently is for controller and keyboard and mouse to be equal. Epic can nerf it, add more features for controller players, and balance the two inputs without having one being better than the other. So, if you guys enjoyed my rant, do be sure to drop a like, subscribe to the channel down here, and to turn on post notifications. Shout out to everyone on the screen for using code Jarian. You guys have been crazy supportive lately and I cannot thank you all enough. Also remember to leave your opinion down below and try to be open-minded. Otherwise, that's it from me and I will see you guys in the next one. Later.